Smart Sea School provides hands-on training on the Celtic Voyager research vessel. This is the beam trawl being prepared for deployment by the crew. The beam trawl is deployed along coordinates decided by the scientists. An important point to note about the Celtic Voyager is that it's a dedicated research vessel and the crew on it um, in a lot of cases come from the fishing industry so they have a lot of expertise in deploying equipment into the water and probably more important taking it out. A big part of the crew's job is making sure that the winches, the blocks uh, are fit for purpose, the cables we use are fit for purpose. This is called the cod end and probably called the cod end because cod were, the, were maybe the first fish that were commercially caught in large numbers. So using the crane under the deck, they're lifting this up and they can untie the pigtail at the bottom of the cod end or the cod end liner to retrieve the sample. Beam trawling is necessarily destructive, so really we just want a representative sample. We don't want to overdo it and cause a lot of damage to the environment we've just been sampling. So the sample comes from the deck and we place it up. We place it up in the sorting tray, which is just outside the wet lab. So you've got a continuous production line, I suppose you can call it, going from the sorting tray into the wet lab. And we separate the roles here into two activities. And the people out at the sorting tray, what they're doing is separating the benthos from the fishery sample. So you can see from the benthos that it seems to be primarily chinoderms and we swing out here again we can see that there's other uh, we can see some crabs there too maybe a little bit of seaweed and that's pretty much it so we're not in a very varied environment here uh, those are some whelk eggs there The fish we're getting here are mostly flatfish or pleuronectiforms and we're also getting some gadoids and smaller gadoids. Gadoids are fish, cod-like fishes and that's entirely consistent with what we've been looking at on the echo sounder for most of the day which is showing a flat sandy seabed with not a lot of variation. You see that train with start lights, can you use those um Put the in. Yeah. So when we go to sea we take out data sheets or, or rather we take out identification key, keys to separate the fish into different species. And what you can see here is maybe five different species of flatfish. We've got some other species here like this dragonet which in a commercial fishery would be discarded. SMART is a collaboration between the Marine Institute, Galway Mayo Institute of Technology, the National University of Ireland Galway, University College Cork and the National Maritime College of Ireland.